How's it going, everyone? Craig Mitch here, joined by Craig by Team, Team Craig. Oh, yes. yes. We're back. All we need is Craig David, Craig Bellamy, <laughs> yes. and maybe Daniel Craig, and we'd have an Avengers squad of Craigs. But enough of the Craig talk. It's the match review, and uh, we've lost, unfortunately, mm. to Juventus 2 1. We played them in Melbourne, part of this. What is the name of the cup? The International Champions Cup or something. Mm, interesting, interesting fictional cup they've made up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, we've lost 2-1. What was your thoughts on the game, Craig? Uh, average overall. Yeah. Um, I don't really know. The first half The first half was bad. It could have been a lot worse, let's say that. Yeah, it could have um, been. The second half improved slightly. Uh, it's always hard with these games because they change so many players at halftime so and during the match. Um, loads of players played out of position. Um, Strange. the young players. I mean, most notably uh, Miller. Will Miller. Will Miller. Obviously, yeah. you said he's a number 10, but he's playing he at left back. Yeah, yeah. He's, so, Will Miller, really good young player. He's only really just graduated from the under-18s up to the under-21s last season. Yeah. Um, he's played as a striker, mainly plays as a number 10 in behind. Mm. And uh, at the end of last season, he was playing really well, banging in some goals, looked really good. Uh, he's good with both feet, but is mainly right-footed, yeah. which is what's weird. And I have seen him play out on the left of, the, of like an attacking three. Yeah, but to play him at left back, what do you what, what, what do you think Poch's thoughts behind that was? That's mental. Well, to the play only, a number ten at left back. The only thing I that's can think right-footed. Well, exactly. So we had quite a few of the the youth team players who travelled. Um, you had Kyle Walker Peters, who is a quality right back. Yeah, um, he's probably one of our most promising talents yep. in defence in the academy. And you've got, um, I mean, you've got Anton Walks, who's played there as well, yep. uh, at right back. Then they're, they're not naturally left-sided players, but they do play at fullback, and they could do a job. And they could the do left. a job. Then you've got Trippier starting at right back. So why are you getting a number ten to fill in at left back? The only thing I can think is that he's more naturally gifted with his left foot than those players. Yeah. So he has played on the left side. Okay. But other than that, I don't know. And, Bewildering. And, yeah. But within the first five minutes, gave the ball away. Mm -hmm. Made it a mistake. Le yeah. Led to a catalogue of errors from ball and CCV. And yeah. then it ended well, up in the so back Miller, of the net. So Miller gives the ball away. Then Mason gives the ball away. Yeah. Then Dominic Ball goes for a little cutback, a little Cruyff that doesn't come off. He plays no. it against his own foot. And it was horrific. And then CCV, um, Cameron Carter-Vickers had to, to lunge in with a, a desperate challenge to try and... Yeah. Cut, no cut it out, and that, that that he missed with that as well, and so it was just a catalogue of errors, wasn't it? It was just a it complete. Looked, it looks comical. It did look comical. Yeah, I mean, we weren't laughing. Not at all. But I mean, it's like if you're if you're an Australian fan over there, yeah. you know, haven't seen much Premier League football. Mm. I'm not assuming that, you know, you don't, haven't watched a lot of Premier League football, but I'm just saying, we wanted to see Spurs live and in the flesh, and yeah. this is what you see, regardless if it's academy players, you're going to be like, what, what, what's going on? Well, you're going to be thinking, well, I thought we were supposed to have one of the best academies in Europe, and, like, who are these kids who can't exactly. keep the ball or prevent attacks like, like that? I mean, they weren't, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't really under much pressure either. No. I mean, when Will Miller gave it away... You're thinking, okay, and then Mason gives it away, and yep. then Dominic Ball he goes for a trip, and it's just it was it was a comedy of errors, and so yeah, I don't know what they'll be thinking to be honest. Ten minutes later, within fifteen minutes, a second goal was banged in. Yeah, and unfortunately, it was two of the same players again. Uh, this time coming from a free kick, and CCV uh, has a bit of trouble in the box trying to clear the ball. Luckily, because he's he's so hench, he, yeah. was, he managed to like muscle. Uh, I can't remember what Juve player it was off yeah. the ball, but then he's he sort of cleared the path for Dominic Ball to then clear it. And rather than putting his boot through it, Dominic Ball's gone for a sort of pass out of defence. So weird. And he's just giving it away straight away to a Juve player. Ball's been whipped in, yeah. headers back in the net, warm, just like a statue basically. And he completely lost it after that ball. Yeah. Did you see? Yeah, he did. Started shouting at the players. Yeah. He had a point. He did have a he point. He did. It was all shambles at the back. Yeah. And obviously, we had three changes. It will really, in, in, in actual fact, Trippier is not even really a first team starter. Exactly, so it was four yeah. changes all across the back. But obviously, Trippier being the only out and out Premier mm. League squad player, I mean, it's not, it's not really looking good, no, was it? It didn't look good. It didn't look good. It did improve. It yeah. did improve. It did improve. Um, mainly in the second half, I have to say. I mean, do we, do we just jump straight into the second half? Yeah, like, I mean, the they, they the made so was... many changes. Obviously, Mason came off. He was captain of us. I thought he was anonymous in this yeah. game. Chadley didn't do anything. Son was, had, like, one chance, yeah. which was completely off target. Jansen didn't get a sniff no, he didn't. in the first half. No I was service. really excited no to service. see him. Yeah. And nothing. I mean, actually, going, going quickly going back before we go on to the second half, yeah. Will Miller 
did make a few runs. I mean, you can see going forward, he, he offers a lot more, which is why, again, it's so weird having it at left back. But yeah. he made that run into the box and there was a sort of cry Penal for a penalty. Yeah, I remember that. It was quite It soft. was a good run, though. It was a good run, yeah, yeah. He's, I saw, saw the potential there. Yeah, he's got good footwork and, um, you know, he should be playing higher up the pitch. That's all there is to say. Like yeah, that. yeah. Definitely, what, it definitely wasn't a pen for me, though. No, nah, it was soft. It was so It might have been, it, you might have been a free kick elsewhere yeah. on the pitch, but yeah. um, it, it wasn't going to get given. Wanyama. Impressed me. Yeah. He impressed me. Obviously, he's got the experience, played at all kinds of levels, played in Champions League with Celtic. So this to him is a walk in the park. Yeah. Quite literally. Obviously, he kind of was involved in the in the first two goals. He needs to protect the back four a yeah. bit more. But obviously, he probably just assumed that they'd have things under control and didn't expect that calamity mm. which unfolded. But I thought he was good. He he, he made those box to box runs, drove forward, and he assisted the first goal with Lamelo. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Put in a lovely pass, actually. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and then and won the ball. And that was in the second half. But um, the players we... were just bouncing off of him. Yeah. And that's, that's just what <laughs> yeah. we need. I felt it's like, like a brick wall. I felt like with Mason and Bentaleb and these players that were kind of coming in when uh, Dyer or Dembele was out, mm. they just, they're just not strong enough. And yeah. they just can't really get to grips with the Premier League and pick mm. out that pass and be solid. And I feel like that's what Wanyama's going to offer. And we saw it in this game. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's squad depth, isn't it? Yeah. You're looking at Wanyama and you're thinking, you, you know, you're, you're very comfortable if mm. he's coming off the bench to replace one of those players. And with all the games that we're going to have coming up with the Champions League and stuff. I mean, I'll go as far as to say, me personally, I don't even think Wanyama is just squad depth. I think he's really going to give the likes of, of Dyer and Dembele a run for their money. Yeah, he will, he will. I mean, and you could, in, in certain games as well, you could play the three of them, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, even move Dembele up higher up the pitch. Or, oh, yeah, yeah. We know he used to be an attacking midfielder, yeah, a striker exactly. even, when yeah. he wasn't uh, in the Prem. Yeah. Um, Lamella came on. Yes. Key man. Yes. Got the goal for us. Changed it, really. He did. He, and you could just see he's a baller. Yeah. Like, you could see the levels. Yeah. Obviously, he's... he's actually, how old is Lamella now? 23? 20, he's not 23? even that old. No. He's not that old. But you can just see he's a cut above from a yeah. lot of those players in our academy, came on, looked lively, was creating chances, yeah. taking shots, taking everyone on, showed a bit of aggression. Obviously, it's only a pre-season, but considering the fact that he mm. got to the final with Argentina in the Copa America, yeah. he really only had, a, what, maybe a week's more rest than the players that are chilling right That's now, yeah. came on and just looked full of energy. Yeah, he did. And if you think about how much he's come on since he first signed for the club, oh, leaps it's and just, bounds. he's a different player now. He's a, and like, As soon as he comes onto the pitch, I think he gives everyone a lift. We saw the potential that we, we saw at <coughs> Roma and that we signed. Yeah. And do you think it's that Argentinian connection with, you know, Poch? Yeah, maybe, figure. maybe it is. I mean, that's what one of the things that Poch said when he first came in. He said, like, he's going to put his arm around Lamella. Yeah. He's going to make Lamella into the player that he knows he is. And mm. I think that's all it took, really. I mean, like, the, the it, was a, it was a rough diamond, wasn't he? He needed just to be yeah. cut and shaped, and that's what's happening. And um, you made a good point as well when we were talking earlier about... Um, how he plays with quality players when he goes to Argentina. He plays with the likes of the Messis yep. and uh, the Higuain, Aguero, yeah. exactly, Agueros. And so, you know, just mixing it with players like that, winners. But you were disappointed, weren't you? You mentioned that um, you were disappointed that none of our players picked up winners' medals in the Yeah, I mean, I mean, just a, a side note, it's just annoying that a lot of our players aren't getting those kind of... It's about installing that winning mentality mm. in players' minds. And if they're going out and winning trophies outside of Spurs with their international teams, yeah. it kind of brings it back to the club and, and they can install that winning mentality within our squad as yeah. well and offer that experience. But it's just one of those things, man. Ruiz mm. couldn't, couldn't win it with France. Lomelo couldn't win it with Argentina. Obviously, we've got a lot of young players on on display which played in this game. Yeah. Who, obviously, they're very young. They're not going to be able to bring that to our side. But, I mean, who, who, else, who else impressed you throughout the game? <laughs> well, one of the really good things that we saw was Marcus Edwards coming on. Um, and there is some big news about Marcus Edwards, which yep. uh, I will share with you in uh, in a youth watch. But yeah. um, he has signed a contract at Spurs. Amazing. That, that has happened. It's a two-year contract, so he is staying. That is big, big news because he is the jewel in the crown of our academy. And you were saying that you want him to kind of stay, uh, you know, low-key under the radar. Well, I think, want... I think the club are quite keen to do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you know, they, they don't really talk about the young players in any case. Okay. Um, you know, they'll, they'll talk about the matches that they play and stuff. But um, they, He's they tiny, though, isn't up. he? He is. He is slight, yeah, he's, do you and think, he's quite short. Do you think, you know, if we can offload a lot of the players we're looking to offload, the likes of Pritchard, maybe, Ben Taleb, uh, Fazio, but yeah. just a lot of the midfielders we're, we're seeing kind of as dead weight, do you think 
Marcus Edwards will get, you know, a couple games like Onuma did last season, make that, yes. that step up? Yeah, he will. Basically, he will. He's been given a, a verbal agreement, a verbal promise, if you like, that yeah. he will get game time. He's, he's going to be given a squad number yeah. and he will get game time. Oh, he's it, getting a squad it, it, number now? Yeah, he's getting a squad number as well. Yeah, and he deserves it. He deserves it. And apparently, the word is that since he's made the step up and he's travelled with the first team squad, apparently, the word yeah. coming back is that the first teamers have all been... Like really impressed. Like can't believe yeah. the talent that this kid has got. So. I mean, even the, the the short time he had in today's game, uh, he impressed me. Made a good dribbles. Looked yeah. like he knew what he was doing on the ball. Turn yeah. it, making good turns. Eye for a pass. My only concern is he physical enough for the prem? Now you look at a lot of these youth players, the players that kind of break through. Even if you look at other clubs, the likes yeah. of like Reese, Oxford, even Onoma, mm. they're actually quite tall and yeah. big figures for their yeah, age. Yeah. You meet them in real life, they're you're, they're literally towering yeah. over you. You look at him and you think, can he handle it? Can David Silva handle the Premier League? Yeah, it's a point. It's a point. You know, I mean, like... he's bulked up though. <laughs> he were a bit, maybe. a bit. He's not. A he's bit. not like when he first came. But we don't. We, well, I'm, the point I'm making is we don't have the same problem. If it's a, if it's a Spanish player coming over here yeah. and they're small and slight, you, you might hear it a bit to begin with. But as soon as you see the quality on the ball and their spatial awareness, their balance, yeah. their pace. The, the football brain that they've got, all of a sudden, just that whole argument just goes to pot. It just goes out the window. Yeah. And I think it's going to be the same with Marcus Edwards. This kid is the real deal, should be the real deal. You know, at the moment, it's just promise. But, yeah. um, I, and I, he showed flashes of, of what he can do. You're right, he is slight, but he's only 18. The kid yeah. is only 18. He's young. He's very young. And um, and for his size, he's going to be pushed off the ball, which he did today. I thought he got <laughs> pushed off the ball quite a few times, a little bit too easy. But you can already see how when he's dribbling with the ball, it's like the, the football's on a piece of string attached yeah. to his foot. Just gliding. Yeah, he does. He glides. That's that's true, actually. And I thought he, and he impressed me. He looked good. I mean, he, without particularly doing anything... That, that led to a goal or anything yeah. like that, or uh, you know, a, a, a particular chance. He just looked kind of composed, particularly for his age in the match. There were a lot of other youngsters who came on as well. I have to mention people like Anton Walks. Um, what who, did you think of him? I thought, wait, well, in the short game time he had, he probably had what twenty five minutes. Yeah, he came in and filled in at centre back. Dominic Ball um, went off. Yeah, Dominic Ball had a bad game, oh, really. He was awful. Yeah, I feel sorry for the kid actually because last season, the end of last season for the Rangers, he was playing really, really well, playing yeah. in that kind of um, CDM role where Eric Dyer plays, looked really assured. Um, he he had a stinker today. Mm. He gave the ball away a lot, um, and he looked like it was on his mind that he wanted to kind of try and play himself into the team, yeah. into the first team, and. Um, he didn't have a good one. So Anton Walks came on, replaced him, looked assured. He, again, he's a big lad, Anton Walks. Yeah. He, every, he's one of those players that every time I see him, I'm like, oh, I forgot just how big he is. And he's still quite young. Um, naturally, he's been a central midfielder, but we're now playing him at centre-back as well. He's one of these kind of you know utility players. He's not, We've not quite fat found that position, but wherever we play him, he always gives 100%. And I a lot of these academy good. players, like we were saying, they, they seem to kind of change positions, don't yeah. they? They don't actually know they're out and out position. And it's no. kind of the... The, the, the coaches they work with kind of sees the potential in the position they should be playing yeah. and it moves them to that position. Well, I think a lot of these players are very technically gifted nowadays. Yeah. When they come into the academies, it's kind of like a given. They're all very good on the ball. They're all good positionally. And it's just about <coughs> finding where they fit into that kind of team and that the, the certain formations that, that suits their game best. And it's about being fluid with it as well because, yeah. you know, in terms of their development, players develop at different rates, at different ages. And things don't always become apparent until they hit a certain peak. And then you start to think, oh, actually, OK, he's much more assured in that position. Yeah. And maybe for Anton Walks, it's one of those. I mean, he will probably this season play at centre-back, I would think, alongside Christian Magoma for our under-21s for most of the season. Okay. So maybe that's a position we're going to see him in more and more. Um, so bringing it back to the game, I thought he did quite well. Harry Wings, when he came on, I thought yeah. he, he looked all right as well. He did, dribbling, very confident. Yeah, he's. I mean, we've, we've known about Harry Wings. We mm. know he's got the potential. He doesn't look like Poch is anytime soon trying to get rid of him. No, so that's right. That's a, that's a good sign for him. Uh, Harrison as well, Sharon Harrison. He's yeah. been banging in the goals for the under-21s and the under-18s before that. Yeah. He had um, a chance right at the end of the game, didn't he? He did have a he? chance. Yeah, he did have a chance. And... Um, I mean, it was unlucky, really. Lamella, Lamella played a nice through ball nice for ball. him. I, it was, it was, it was. His run was taking him away from goal. I think yeah. so. He, he was stretching, but um, he gets himself into the right areas. That's what he does, and um, more often than not, promise, he will score. a lot of promise there. A lot, yeah, yeah, it's got a lot of promise. Yeah, I mean, it, it, again, it's still early days for someone like Sharon Harrison, but um, I could see him training with the first team a lot yeah. more this season, playing for the under twenty ones, but being on in and around the fringes. I think yeah. you know he, he, he might get a chance in a cup game. We'll see.
We'll have to see what happens. But guys, this has been the match review. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of the performance. Who, who shone for you? Who stood out? Let us know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you've enjoyed the video, drop it a like and keep it casual.